back to the channel everyone, and if you're new here, hello, thanks for watching, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, do all those good things. This is Motor Mike Media, and as always, I'm Motor Mike, and today we're talking about the 2022 Lexus LX600, and the LX600 is their full-size SUV, their new flagship. Now, the LX series has been around for a long time, this is the latest version, the 600 series, and a lot of people love it and hate it. Now, from different angles, this vehicle has a nice aggressive styling to it. It's more squared off, more chiseled, but that front end is what's causing a lot of controversy. The front end has beautiful looking headlights. These headlights are really sharp LED signature. The whole front end has a little bit of an aggressive styling to it, but this grill is just a little too massive, even in my personal opinion. A lot of times when I see a grill, it's a little too big. There's certain things I like about it or a certain trim that looks better and that can kind of grow on me. This one's just a little too much in my personal opinion. There's two versions of it. This barred one is the luxury version. You can also get an F Sport model. If you know anything about Lexus models, the F Sport is a more performance oriented model. It gives you the mesh grill. You get 22 inch uh, rims, uh, limited slip in the rear end, different trim pieces get changed up. It's a sporty vibe to it. But both those grills, they're just a little too big in my personal opinion, but I want to know which one you guys think is better, the barred luxury grill or the mesh grill. Please let me know in the comments below. I personally think that the Land Cruiser just has a better looking front end overall. Now the Land Cruiser, well, that's just the same vehicle as this, just without all the little extra luxury features, without the Lexus wrapping around it. Now we're not going to get the Land Cruiser here in America, but I think they did a good job of that redesign. Everything looks chiseled, looks purposeful. Yes, you can get one that's very luxurious, but people will still probably take those off-road and have fun. The LX series, not so much. It's way more luxurious, and people tend not to take these ones off-road. They hold their value slightly better. Either way, any Toyota Lexus product holds their uh, value very well. But the LX series, you really don't see people taking those off-road. This vehicle has off-road capabilities. This vehicle is riding on an awesome platform. It's body-on-frame construction. But yes, this one's for the streets. It's very luxurious on-road. The interior of this vehicle is a vehicle you want to be ridden in instead of actually driving yourself. The back, super luxurious, quilted leather, fine stitching, premium materials, multiple screens, massage seats, heated seats, cooled seats. A very interesting dash. It has lots of tech features while being super premium, super luxurious. And the side profile of the vehicle, well, it's chiseled, like I said. It has an athletics look to it. I really like the wheel wells, how they look. It's real beefy, real boxy looking with a great silhouette. The rear end, the awesome looking light bar. Big on the sides, narrow in the middle. has that luxury vibe to it. Overall, I think they did a good job. I just wish the grill was different. Now, if the grill is just a little bit smaller, this could be a knockout seller for them. People that go for these expensive vehicles, this vehicle is probably going to be over $90,000. The current one's like $87,000. So one of these, it's a premium luxurious vehicle and you want to stand out. You want people to buy this vehicle because they feel luxurious. They have all these cool features in tech and they can kind of you know, gloat about it, boast that, hey, look at what I got. But this thing is powered by the 3.5 liter V6 engines, twin turbocharged. It's a new engine, but we've seen a lot of new title products. 409 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. Really, really good numbers. It's more power than we got from the old V8 engine that used to be in these things. So this vehicle with this new V6 engine, twin turbocharged, makes more power than the old V8, like I said. Paired to that 10-speed automatic, it'll be more powerful, more fuel efficient. It has this big, bold presence to it, whether or not you like the front ends to be decided, but it is unique and different. You don't really see a whole lot of LX series on the road, at least not in my parts. You see a lot more Escalades and stuff like that, so maybe that's why they want to take a little risk with the styling. But overall, it's a nice, luxurious vehicle that has a lot of things going for it. But I wonder what you guys think. What are things you like and don't like about this vehicle? Uh, the choices between those two grills, which one would you pick? And between this and the Land Cruiser, if we could get it here in America, which one would you pick and why? Please let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already and you want to, please check out my channel. I keep trying to give you guys more and more content. I talk about cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, combustion engines, just like this, and EVs, a little of everything. But please, like comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest from my channel. And as always, I truly, truly appreciate you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.